Welcome. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to find the period and the amplitude of a function because that's going to be very important for us when we get into our graphing. So it's very important we get some practice on finding exactly what the amplitude and the period are. So first of all, when we have a function, we always want to remember what is kind of like our standard form of our function. So we, we can write it in y equals a times cosine of bx minus c plus d. And what we remember was the amplitude, remember that was going to deal with your absolute value of a. So remember when dealing with the definition of amplitude, remember amplitude was the half distance between your maximum and your minimum of your graph. So to find the, ap the amplitude, we took the uh, absolute value of our a. And then to find the period, now remember the period of a function, that was how far it took our graph to complete a cycle for it to, uh, you know, wherever it started, for it to go back to where it, um, the exact same point where it started again. So we said our period was always 2 pi divided by b. Now, when we look at these two definitions and we go back and we look at our function, we can easily see that our a, which is our number that's going to be multiplied by cosine, is going to be 2. So the amplitude in this problem is the absolute value of 2, or we could just say is 2. Then the period, we look at the period, remember, is going to be your b. b is going to be your coefficient of x. So when we look at this, we say we have a 3x. So therefore, we could say 2 pi divided by 3. Well, we're just going to leave that um, in that form. So therefore, our period is just going to be related to 2 pi over 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find the amplitude and period of a trigonometric function. Thanks.